Hello, good morning everyone. We are now in Aspen, Colorado, the home of John Denver. Do you know him? Of course, everybody knows who John Denver is. Even though I'm not really, you know, that big of his fans for his songs, I still know what they are. I love his songs. Give me give me some of the songs, honey. Um, uh, Living on a Jet Plane. Yes. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. Yes. <laughs> and a lot more. <laughs> uh, he was very well known. He was a big flyer. We'll talk more about that later. Um, some of his old, old songs, uh, Country Road, Take Me Home. And Perhaps then, Love. And then, of course, the Rocky most Mountain important one, High. Rocky Mountain High. So we are at his sanctuary and we're going to just talk about the life of John Denver. And again, he's very famous here. If you're going to come to Colorado, you got to come and see the sanctuary for John Denver. So if we're gonna talk about the famous musician here in Colorado, mm -hmm. it's John Denver. Yeah. Coloradans love John Denver so much that they made this sanctuary for mm -hmm. him, mm -hmm. this tribute. Yeah. There's, there's really no other famous musician that comes to mind at all when you think of Colorado other than John Denver. Now I understand why John Denver changed his family name to Denver because he found this place so beautiful. He fell in love in Colorado. That's why he changed it to Denver. And it reflects to his one of the biggest song, biggest hit with which entitled Rocky Mountain High. It talks about the mountains, the Rocky Mountains, the Purple Mountains, the colorful trees, especially during autumn, the rivers, everything here is so beautiful. All right, um, we all not understand, we get this, Rocky Mountain High, there's a reason why he's using Rocky Mountain High. Let's face it, there was a lot of marijuana use still going back on in the 60s and the 70s, especially during his time. We know that he's smoking marijuana and stuff like that. Colorado is synonymous with marijuana. You know, we're the one of the first states to legalize it too, so. Um, but in addition to that, yes, you do get that natural high of being here. It's very beautiful, just like Caroline said. Very colorful. Um, the, the big mountains and all of the nature that's here, the water and all of it. It's just gorgeous here, it really is. So that song, Sunshine on My Shoulders, do you know that song? Yes. This is one of favorite songs. Oh, do you know the lyrics to it? Can you sing it? <laughs> Perhaps love is one of my favorites from John Denver. How come? Because it's about love and I like the the melody. I like its melody. Perhaps 
love's love is like a resting place, a shelter from the storm. It exists to give you comfort, it is there to keep you warm. And in those times of trouble, when you are most alone, the memory of love will bring you home. That's nice. What is not well known about John Denver is that he was actually rejected by a lot of people. It was very difficult for him to get into the music industry because his songs were more on the style of folk. And at the time that he came into the industry, there was a lot of rock and roll music and crazy hair and stuff like that. So for him to break into that, it was risky for a lot of business people to accept his music and his style. In fact, in like the 1975 area, right around there, he actually earned the Country Music Artist of the Year Award. And um, the person that presented his award to him was very angry and didn't like him. And he set it on fire in front of the whole oh, crowd, wow. Oh, wow. which actually costed that guy's career. I think um, Charlie Rich or something like that. So you can find that on the internet somewhere. But yeah, when he lit it on fire in front of everybody, it really said to everyone, he's not welcome. John Denver's not welcome here. And the music industry did not like that at all. Mm. By that point, they started accepting him and that kind of helped his career actually mm -hmm. and put the other person down. It made him it, famous. It, in a way, it helped boost his career yes, even yes, more. Yes. It didn't make him famous because he already won the award. Uh huh. But by doing that action, it actually helped show, wow, he's really made it. Mm -hmm. And people are not even happy about it because his success is so strong. So, so for yeah. those who desire to become a musician or to become to be known yeah you're gonna have to work for don't it. don't give up yeah have faith he he really went through a lot of rejection at mm -hmm. his time mm -hmm. a lot of people wouldn't sign him up to be an artist for their music label mm -hmm. so again by just perseverance and persistence he was able to break into the music industry so john denver was born in Roswell, New Mexico, where we Americans say that's where all the aliens are from. <laughs> and he was not born John Denver, he was born John Deutschendorf, which is a lot harder for Americans to pronounce and uh, explain to people. And by changing his name to John Denver, that solidified him into being here in Colorado, and especially with his country music style in the Denver area and Colorado being kind of where the Cowboys are from. It was a great assimilation for his career to accept that kind of a style into his music. Good, good strategic business move. So John Denver's love of music came from his grandparents, specifically his grandmothers. So that, for me, it speaks to me. Um, I lost my grandmother this year. And um, the bond that a grandmother has to the grandchildren is forever. And we especially love our grandparents. For him, the grandparents really helped boost him into his career. Um, one of his grandmothers was the one that introduced him into country music and got him started with that kind of a favorite genre for himself. The other grandmother was the one that bought him his first acoustic guitar where he started to learn and play the songs that he was listening to and eventually began writing his own music. I don't know much about John Denver, but I know that he's an artist, 
yeah. a composer, mm -hmm. and he had a divorce. Oh, he had a divorce, and yeah. his uh, marriage was rocky. rocky. Yeah, yeah, it was. So you tell me more about that. Yeah, so um, John Denver's marriage with Annie, his first wife. He has a song about that, um, Annie's song, and it actually it's a it's a pretty rough song. If you look at the lyrics and, and see the kind of things that he was going through. So they were just a bad couple, to be honest with you. Um, I guess the locals I've talked to here say that she still lives here somewhere around here. Yeah. Um, but they fought a lot. And John Denver was also known he would drink alcohol a lot, maybe was an alcoholic. So I'm sure that factored into the relationship some there as well. Um, when it came time to, to divorce, he was furious. And he knew because of the divorce, he was probably going to lose his house. And he loved the house that he was in. Um, they, they fought so bad, it, it got this bad. She took an axe and started cutting down all of the trees that he had planted. That's crazy. With, yeah. And just as crazy, the other side, um, he brought a chainsaw home and he was going to cut the table and he did cut the bed, their wedding bed that was there. He cut it in half. Oh. Um, it, yeah, they were, they were not very happy with each other at all. Um, I, I can see how they got a divorce because that's just, that's crazy behavior. But again, if you, if you uh, do some digging and look some articles up in newspapers or in his biographies that he has written, they had a very tumultuous relationship. They really did. What is that? What word is that? Tumultuous. Tumult. Tumult. What? What, what do you mean by that? What that, that? was, it's uh, lots of problems, lots of agitation. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, earthquake. Their, their, their marriage was like an earthquake. <laughs> no one person has to do it all. But if each one of us follows our heart and our own inclinations, we will find the small things that we can do. And together, we will come up with enough to create a sustainable future and a healthy environment. So, quote by John Denver to live by. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Thanks for our video. Thanks for watching. For watching. Yeah. And uh, as always, please like and subscribe. Leave us some comments down below. We're happy to interact with you guys as you guys see fit. Take care. We love Take you. Take care and God bless. Bye, guys.